your computer is slow and you have no idea how to fix it well here are some ways that you can troubleshoot the problem select the window key and then type task manager i'm using windows 11 but on yours it'll come up on the side once you select a task manager you'll see a bunch of stuff select the performance tab now there are three things you want to look for here right away firstly you want to check the CPU usage. Is it at 100%? If it is, we're going to have to find out what's causing it. Next, you want to have a look at memory. Is it completely maxed out and you've just got no more memory left? If that's the case, we have to figure out what's holding up all that memory or maybe your program's leaking memory. And thirdly, you want to have a look at your disks. Have you got enough disk space? Did you know that if you don't have enough disk space, your computer actually can't run properly? It won't be able to save files and it won't be able to create virtual memory and it's going to have a lot of problems. Now, let's look at each one individually in more detail. When it comes to disk space, there are some quick ways you can resolve this without even doing anything or deleting any file. First of all, make sure there are no other users logged on. For every user that's logged on, Windows takes about a gig of space. That's already a lot. If you're at work and you're sharing a computer between three to four people, that's about four gigs. So all you have to do is restart the computer and it logs everyone out. Once you've restarted the computer, log back into yourself and now you've got three to four gigs of free room let's look at memory if you don't have enough memory that's always a problem windows usually needs about four gigs of memory to run but sometimes you've installed other applications like microsoft teams for example because your business requires it teams is notoriously a big resource hog and so you might actually need more memory if you only have 4 gigs, install another 4 gigs. Let's look at CPU. If your central processing unit is running 100% all the time because it's trying to run some sort of process, then you need to terminate that process and figure out why it's doing that. To terminate a process, all you have to do is click on the processes tab, find out what's causing the problem. For example, Google Chrome might be taking up all your resources. If that's the case, right click on it select end task and they will free up more processing power at the moment you see that i'm running my video recording application and it's taking up quite a lot of my graphics processing unit it's taking up a little bit of my memory and it's taking up 12 percent of my cpu you can click this tab to show from ascending to descending and it will show you all the different things. Now be careful though, you can't turn off everything. Some are system requirements. But if you have things that you know about like a browser or maybe Teams for example or too many games or background apps that are running then yeah, you can turn them off. Speaking of background apps have you installed something that you shouldn't have and then now it's just running in the background and doing a whole bunch of stuff? If that's the case, it's time to get rid of them. But you don't know which background apps that you've run and it's really hard for you to figure it out. Well, unfortunately, I don't know either because that's your computer. However, there are some things that you can do. There are two major things that you can do that makes it easier for you to remove these all in one go. First of all, the obvious thing is to reinstall your Windows operating system. We don't really want to go down that path if you don't have to because it's a real hassle. But if that's the thing that you need to do, reinstalling your operating system will completely wipe everything and then you can start all over again. Just make sure you have your install disk or install USB. The second thing to do is to run a virus cleaner. Now, 
you might be thinking, oh, I have to pay subscription to run a virus cleaner. Well, that's absolutely not true nowadays. You don't have to pay 30, 40, 50 dollars a month to run a virus cleaner every month. There are a lot of free options out there that are really good. Check out these following ones. Now, let's look at a little bit more detailed view. If you're trying to find the nitty gritties of everything, maybe because you understand hardware a little bit more, you can select the open resource monitor section down here at the bottom. Once you've done that, you'll see a resource monitor. The resource monitor is really helpful for getting into the advanced sections to find out exactly what you're trying to troubleshoot. Select the CPU tab and you will be able to have a look at which one is causing you problems. For example, the streaming software that I'm using called OBS Studio is running 59 threads at the moment. And it's using quite a bit of my CPU and you can see this specifically. Not only that, you can see what the average amount is so that you can see if it's dipping, if it's going up or whatever you're doing at the time can cause a slowdown of your computer. Maybe you're playing a game and at a certain point it's just taking up too much resource because the game's programming is bad. You can also go into the memory tab and have a look at all the different stats. And the one I like to use the most to check out how much is going through the network. A lot of the times if your computer is slow it might not be your computer. It might actually just be your network. Maybe you're in the office and somebody is updating their computer and it's just taking up all the bandwidth. It's like being on a road and there's just a million cars and you just have to sit there waiting. One last thing for troubleshooting these type of things for the really advanced users is performance monitor. Select the start button and type perfmon. And when you do, it will show up as the best match for performance monitor. You can also do this by the run button and press window R and then type perfmon. Once you've loaded performance monitor, you can actually see even more detailed stuff. You can go into the performance monitor section and it'll show you a real time stat of everything that your computer is doing everything that is processing and you can see it in graph form. You can see all the different things that it's doing at what time and that way you can manage it and see and troubleshoot at what time does this cause. Maybe at a certain time of the day your virus cleaner is running and that slows down your computer because you've just you don't have enough resources. If that's the case you can turn that off for now and run the test again and see if it causes that problem at that time of day. And if it doesn't, then you've found out what the problem is. At the end of the day, there are lots of things that you can do to troubleshoot your computer. Don't just throw it out and buy a whole new one because eventually you'll reach the exact same point where everything is slow again if you just keep putting stuff in it and then not knowing how to troubleshoot. All right, everyone, good luck with your computers.